Hello, Namaste. Today I am going to show you the video that is related with the atmospheric pressure of compulsory science for great train. And we discussed about uh, the atmospheric pressure. Let's see. What is atmospheric pressure? The pressure exerted by the weight of the atmospheric air per square meter of the earth surface is called atmospheric pressure. As you know that air is a matter, gaseous matter, so it has a weight and because of that weight it exerts pressure. So, the pressure exerted by the air or atmospheric air on the earth surface is called atmospheric pressure. Now, this is about the standard atmospheric pressure. The pressure exerted by 700 60 millimeter long column of mercury at sea level at temperature of 0 degree centigrade is called standard atmospheric pressure. Okay, and this standard atmospheric pressure is also known as normal pressure or one atmosphere. Okay, and some questions is added here. Define a standard atmospheric pressure. You have to define like this. Okay, read this. And what is the meaning of 760 mmHg of atmospheric pressure? It means the pressure exerted by 760 mm of long column of mercury at sea level at temperature of 0 degree centigrade is called 1 atmospheric pressure. Okay, next go to the next slide. Now, we discuss about the value of one atmosphere or the value of standard atmospheric pressure. So, standard atmospheric pressure is also known as one atmosphere and one atmosphere is 760 mm of Lg and this 760 mm of Lg is equivalent to 1.01 times 10 to the power 5 Pascal. Okay, remember this point, this value. And this okay and there is another unit of measurement of that best pressure that is store look at the store and it is also used to measure atmospheric pressure store is the another unit of measurement of atmospheric pressure and one power is equal to 1 mm of Hg or 132.322 Pascal uh, two more questions we have here Define one tor of atmospheric pressure. Just you write this one. One tor is equal to 132.322 pascals. Okay. One atmospheric pressure in terms of pascals. You write this one. One atmospheric pressure is 1.01 times 10 to the power 5 pascal. Okay. Go to the next. Now that presence of the atmospheric pressure. We have a very instrument in our daily life. We use air pumps, water pump, syringes, and all these instruments are based in atmospheric pressure. Air pumps are used to filling up air in bulbs, gas stoves, bicycle tires, it is free, okay. Similarly, the water pump is used to lift the underground water. Especially, it is mostly used in Tarai region. Main source of water in Tarai region is underground water and they are lifted up by use of water pump water hand pump okay 
and in medical field the series is a most important and common instrument um, also this also used on the basis of atmospheric pressure so application of atmospheric pressure you write air pumps water pumps and sewage any two of these three can be treated as the application of atmospheric pressure now it is about the mercury barometer the instrument made by using mercury to measure the atmospheric pressure is called mercury barometer so let us discuss about the structure of the mercury barometer it consists of long glass tube mercury and water tray or water dish or water container okay or it is a container vessels you can say you know long glass tube mercury and water container uh, sorry container and how it works listen when the atmospheric pressure increases the mercury level rises up upon okay when atmospheric pressure decreases this mercury level falls down so rising and falling down of mercury level gives the value of atmospheric pressure okay of increasing and decreasing respectively okay if there is more pressure then this level rise up if there is less pressure then this level move down actually this portion look at this portion this end of this glass tube is made vacuum to allow the expansion or the to rise the mercury level okay it is made vacuum and this vacuum is known as torsillian vacuum okay this vacuum is known as torsillian vacuum okay now we have some descriptions here structure of mercury barometers the long glass tube is filled with mercury and inverted in the container containing mercury the upper close end of the glass tube is made vacuum above the mercury and this vacuum is known as torsillian vacuum and the glass tube is calibrated with the scale at its top look at here it is calibrated here okay so look at the questions regarding these two topics what is the mercury barometer you look at this answer okay and next questions write the function of barometer again we have here it is used to measure the atmospheric pressure okay mercury barometer is used to measure used to measure the atmospheric pressure and describe the structure of the mercury so it consists of long glass tube mercury and container and you can write this language okay so what we have look at here working role so when the atmosphere pressure increases the mercury level rise up in the glass tube when the atmospheric pressure decreases the mercury level falls down in the glass tube the height of the mercury level in the glass tube is 760 mm from the surface of mercury level of Container at the sea levels, and this means that the atmospheric pressure at sea level is 700 mm of Hg. Okay, look at here the height of this sea level atmospheric pressure. Okay, and this means that the uh, and it considered as a standard atmospheric pressure or one atmosphere, and 760 mm of Hg is equal to 1.01 times 10 to the power 5 pascals. Okay, so. This is the question. Describe working rule of mercury barometer. It's 